In this video, without using much of industry jargons, I am going to tell you how to think about the prompting and build it. It's very simple. It's not complicated. Watch till end. You are going to learn a lot of things. Before that, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to Unfold Data Science if you have not done yet. Let's start. So what we are going to learn today is some examples of bad prompts. First of all, I'm going to show you what is not a good prompt. Then we are going to see what is the purpose of prompting actually. So when you think of prompting an LLM, when you think of using an LLM, then what is the purpose you are trying to achieve? We are going to understand various tasks that prompting can do or you can do via prompts. We are going to understand the art of iterative prompting. So in first go, you will never be able to write a very good prompt. It has to be an iterative approach. So how do you build your prompt? Uh, first iteration, second iteration, third iteration. How do you reach to the final prompt that you can consume inside your LLM application? And then I'm going to leave you with some uh, stepwise thought process on how can you plan your prompt? So this lesson, this exercise here is for developers, data scientists who want to use LLM in their applications. So what we are trying to achieve here, we are trying to consume the output of LLM in some application. So the way we will be thinking prompt will be different. Let's try to understand first of all, what are the examples of bad prompting? So I'm inside Google Gemini if you see here and I'll show you some of the prompting I have done just now. First of all, I asked who won India versus Pakistan match? This is a bad prompt. Why it is a bad prompt? Because it can be a hockey match. It can be a cricket match. It can be any match. There is no timeline. There is nothing here, but still Google is intelligent. Gemini is intelligent. So Gemini is giving me India versus Pakistan. India won by six wickets. This is a good result, but uh, not consumable. So the whole time we will be thinking about consumable by an automated system. This is not consumable. So I just revised my prompt. Who won India versus Pakistan match in Champions Trophy? Is it India or Pakistan? So I'm asking, I'm adding more reference, more information so that I can get the specific information. What happens now? India won by six wickets, but there are some uh, additional things which I may not want. What I want to do next is I want to increase one more level. So if you see here, who won India versus Pakistan in Champions Trophy? Please tell in one word. And the answer is India. So if you see right from past three iterations, I am reaching an answer which I can send to any software application. Now, what was the winning margin? See one more example. What was the winning margin? So this text and then it says six wickets. I am again refining it. What was the winning margin? Answer in this format. Winner team winning margin. Based on the information gathered, the winning margin was India six wickets. I do not want this first line. Okay, this is not useful for me. So I want only this much India six wickets. So I'm saying what was the winning margin? Answer in this format just this much. So the answer is India six wickets. Now what I can do is I can take it in a JSON. I can take it in an XML or I can take it in any other format and I can consume it. So I'm just trying to show you how to uh, how the response that you get from LLM to make it consumable. Okay. But whatever we whatever topic I mentioned here, right? I'm going to show you examples of all these now and we have to understand the purpose of prompting. So I showed you what are the bad prompts. Now think from uh, think from developer point of view or data scientists point of view. Think from software developers point of view. So there is an LLM, right? You want to LLM, you want to use LLM for multiple purposes. What could be those purposes? So the purposes could, could be I want to summarize. The purpose could be I want to infer something from a text. The purpose should be I want to expand or elaborate something. Okay, don't worry, I'm going to show you all examples now. The purpose could be, I have a PDF file, I want to ask some question and answer. That is another purpose. The purpose could be, I have a, let's say, data of a company a report. I want uh, that report to come in a tabular format so that I can create a table out of it. So I just gave you four or five examples here. Either you can infer, you can summarize, you can do question answering, you can do formatting, you can do some kind of, um, we will see, okay, what, what all things we can do. Now, in, in your job, in your work, out of all these, 
what is that you want to do and how do you tell the model to do that that is very important so whenever you are creating your prompt right just remember be specific be specific and give context to the model these two things you have to keep in mind always i will not use any industry jargons here i am just trying to make you understand in very simple language how do you write the good prompts okay please remember to start with be specific and give context if you do these two things right your model will start giving you whatever you want your model to do now let's try to understand all these examples that i gave you right how how from the same data i can get model doing all these tasks and after that i'm going to show you the art of iterative prompting once okay so let me share my notebook and i'm going to walk you through that example so what i have done is i have created a blank notebook here 26th feb 2025 prompt engineering for chat gpt and i'll be using uh, i'll be using uh, basically grok because the inference is faster in grok but before that dot env load dot env I'm, I'm importing because i need the grok api key and in my dot env i have my api key so i have written here chat gpt but i'll be using grok because the grok inference is faster basically so we can see the response faster that's not a problem so how do you use grok is basically you can simply put your grok key and in the environment file and you can import that so now i have this grok key which i can use first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to initialize the grok client so here what what i'm going to do from grok import grok and initialize the client then what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a helper function that will help me to consume any of the model any of the llm available so if you see here this is my function which will take a prompt as an input and the role is user it will just pass that input to the llm in this case the llm is this one okay you can change your model whatever is available on grok but just to show you how this will work right so here i can give any um any prompt basically so hi how are you so what should happen is i should be getting a response from the model so as an i i don't have a feeling but i am here to ready so this this inference is very fast so hence i am using grok so basically what this my funk will do it will give me the response of whatever i ask now first of all i want to prepare some text with which i can play around so i am going to ask the model to give me a summary of india versus pakistan match champions trophy 2025 played in dubai on sunday 33rd feb include both team scores all player runs wickets and complete stats so this is the query i am giving but remember we will be not getting the exact um, exact response from the dubai match the reason being there is a limitation of this model okay so this model will have some cut off and it's not a live fetching information but still we will get something so let me see what we we have got here so if you see here right um india clinches a thrilling champions trophy victory over pakistan in dubai and things like that but all the stats and all the information might not be correct for example virat kohli scored 100 but here you see virat kohli 120 is written don't worry about that it's fetching information from some source it's not updated but this text we will use for understanding how we can consume llm output in a proper way so if you remember i told you there are various tasks that our model can do first of that task keep in mind these tasks because these are the ones you will be mostly doing first task i'm asking here if you see summarization is my first category of task summarize the following cricket match report in one concise paragraph and i'm giving this input okay what i want the model to do summarize in one paragraph so if you see here it is summarizing in one paragraph fine another example of summarization that you should keep in mind is sometimes you will want the summary to be in bullet point so what i'm saying here is provide a summary in three bullet points highlight the key moments so if you see here right the response will change here is a three bullet point summary pakistan's azam shines but india's kohli dominates india recovers from early wobble umrah finishes with a flourish so three bullet point summary what we can also do is we can limit it to some words okay so that also we can do for example all these things you will use for different different purposes 
Now what I'm asking is, we, I'm saying, please summarize, focus on the performance of Rohit, Virat, Jaspreet, Bumrah and Rizwan. So four player performance, I'm specifically interested in asking. So if you see here, it is giving me summary and it is focusing on those four players. So I showed you three different ways of getting the summary. First is a generic summary. Second is you want in bullets. Third is you want to focus on some specific parts. Keep in mind, summarization is one of the most important thing that you can do using LLM. And I showed you some examples. You can obviously add your flavors on top of that. And you can understand where summary can be used. The next set, set of things that I want to show you is from the same text, how you can do question answering. So question answering can be one flavor of question answering can be a specific fact. For example, how many wicket did Haris Rao take? This is a question answering on specific text. See here, Haris Rao took one wicket for 45 runs in six hours. Okay, obviously we can tweak this, but this is one of the fact. Fine. Second thing, we can also ask about the score. This is again a question answering example. What was the final score of the match? The final score, Pakistan this, India this, India won by six wickets. This is again an example of question answering. And I'm going to show you examples of something known as sentiment analysis and how it will vary based on what prompt you give. So here I'm saying, what is the overall sentiment of the match? Is it positive, neutral or negative? So I'm, I'm giving model a chance to think on th those three things only. So if you see here, right, the overall sentiment of article is highly positive. Here is why, and it gives some, some knowledge here. Okay. This is an example of inferencing of sentiment analysis. You can also infer the rivalry implications. So if you see, right, how important was the victory for India in context of champions trophy? So the inference could be from different perspective. The first perspective here was what is overall sentiment? The second perspective is why it is important for India. So you see two different flavors of inference only. Okay. So from this perspective, you are asking inference from that perspective, you are asking inference. So both perspective you can see here. Then the, the another task that I want to show you here is something known as expanding or rewriting. Please use this very, very carefully being a ethical AI practitioner because you can expand and you can rewrite in like a lot of things. So whenever you are using this, please be very, very careful and please be very, very vigilant of what you are generating. Here I'm saying rewrite this match report from the perspective of an Indian cricket fan, emphasizing the excitement and drama of victory. So you see here, I'm asking model to expand and use the India's perspective. So if you see here, OMG, India absolutely crushed Pakistan today. The victory is just the beginning. We are all the way in India. So this is for an India fan. If you if you change it Pakistan fan, it will be something different. So expanding rewriting based on some perspective. Again, what we can do is we can expand or rewrite in a dramatic style as well. So in a very dramatic sports style. So if you see here, it will use different kinds of words here. India dominates in Dubai, Pakistan crushed. Greetings cricket fans and welcome to Sukkar City, Dubai. This tends and easy palpable, blah, blah, blah. And it is expanding and rewriting. So I'm using the same expanding and rewriting for different purposes. The one more thing I want to show you here is, this is very important when you are building LLM application, something known as formatting, okay? So what I want to do is create a table summarizing a scorecard from the following match report. What I want is I want a tabular structure. So if you see here, it has started giving me a tabular structure. Obviously this can be formatted a little bit more, but if you see here, tabular structure runs wickets, top scorers, leading wicket takers. Okay. And I can format it in a particular format as well. For example, you can also do something like extract the key states from this article and provide them in a list format. Very important if you want to consume it in some LLM applications. I, I'm going to also show you if you make this list as JSON. Okay. So the response you are going to get is in JSON. The response you are going to get is in XML. And these things is directly consumable by your applications. So remember this, this is how you create 
output from LLM and consume it. Fine. So JSON XML, all these are different different formattings you can do. Now there are there are many tasks that I just told you: summarizing, inferencing, question answering, formatting. Like, how do you build your prompt right from scratch? So I am not going to tell you many things. Just remember, begin with a basic prompt to understand LLM initial response. If you remember, in the beginning I gave you who won India versus Pakistan match, and then I kept on improving that, right? Then refine the prompt by including specific details you want in the output. Okay, this is your step two. Then adjust the prompt to emphasize certain aspects. So what you want to come out, okay? And then use constraints, for example, 20 words, 30 words, three bullet points, whatever you want. And then modify the prompt to influence the tone of the response. For example, I showed you India fan, Pakistan fan, right? And obviously the formatting etc. will come into picture. But remember, you will not be able to create a great prompt in first go. Iteratively, you can do it. Let me show you one example of how you can do that. So first of all, I will do the first step. Summarize this cricket match. Okay, first step. This is the summary. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say summarize this cricket match focusing on scores of the key batsman and baller. So I'm adding specificity here. If you see first start simple, then add specific information that you want. Okay. Then I need to refine the focus. So if you see this prompt, right? Summarize the cricket match in three bullet points, include the final score, blah, blah, blah. So I'm refining my focus. What is that I want? Okay. After refining the focus, what we need to do is add constraint and adjust tone. So add constraint means as I told you, how many words you want, how many bullets you want, what format you want and things like that you can give here. I'm saying give me three bullets. It is giving me dramatic tone. It is giving me and here what we can do is we can change set tone or whatever you want to do, right? If you want to change it as an Indian, Indian fan, Pakistani fan formatting, those things you can do here. Fine. Now, if you want to send output to an LLM or send output to an application, right? How I will write my prompt is analyze this text and give me output in below format. Winner, winner, win margin, margin of win, man of the match, man of the match. So if you see this response, right? Winner, India, win margin, six wickets, man of the match, Virat Kohli. Now this output, we can simply take it and use it. Okay. We can simply take it and use it. Let me try to post this. Okay. So this again, whatever format you want, you can take it and use it. So five step process of prompting here. You have to start from something basic. You have to add specificity, refine focus, add constraint and adjust tone. And then this prompt you can use in your applications very, very simply. Now you might be hearing things like chain of thought prompting, few short, zero short prompting. Those are of course the technical terminologies of prompting, but keep in mind these simple points. Okay. Before we wrap up, keep in mind whenever you are writing prompt, right? Use actions verb like summarize, translate, explain, or generate. Say exactly what you want LLM to do. So in all these examples I showed you, right? Say exactly what you want LLM to do. Use explicit instructions. Okay. Give LLM sufficient background. Because if you don't say I want a cricket match output, it's never going to come. Divide large tasks into small tasks, more manageable steps. You might have heard something known as chain of thought prompting, few short prompting, right? That is what we are trying to do here. And clear separate different parts of prompting using delimiters. For example, if you are passing a variable, if you are writing large sentences, right? Then you can do. And few short prompting is something very useful because you give model the examples. So in this way, what you can do is without using any industry jargons, without using any fancy stuff, right? Next time onwards, when you think of writing a prompt, you know what is the cookbook of prompting, right? So you know, okay, this is what I need to do. My task is a summary task. Fine. I will start with something basic. I will improve one. I will add the tone. I will see what format I want. I will add the specific instructions and then your prompt will be ready. So with this, I hope the, the art of prompting is clear to you without any industry jargons and you will be writing very good prompts. I wish you all the best with your LLM learning journey edge. See you all in the next video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Wherever you are, stay safe and take care.